Okay, so let's talk about the Texas Educator Certification Exam for 7 to 12 Mathematics. This is uh, exam code 235. And uh, what I have for you here is a practice problem that you should be able to handle pretty easily if you are fully prepared for this exam. Uh, this is the exam that you have to pass in order to teach high school level mathematics. So here is the problem. We have uh, two complex numbers that we're trying to multiply. So we have negative 5 minus i times negative 2 plus 2i. Now, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, and of course, I'll fully explain how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, so I certainly know what it's like to take certification exams. And uh, over those years, I've actually constructed many test prep courses to include a Texas 7 to 12 math test prep course. Uh, there is a lot of mathematics that you need to know in order to do well on this exam. So uh, if you need some great study uh, material, check out my full test prep course on this exam. You can find a link to it in the description below. But uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So we have two complex numbers and we need to multiply these two together. So these numbers are in the form of A plus B I. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So if you did this right, this is the answer that hopefully you got, uh, 12 minus A I. All right, now if you were able to get this right, that is fantastic. It shows me that you do know how to multiply complex numbers, but this is only one small part of the things that you will be facing on this exam. But uh, if you didn't get this right, don't feel bad. Just use this as feedback. And let's go and get into exactly how you multiply these complex numbers. Okay, so we again, we have negative uh, 5 minus i times negative uh, 2 plus 2i. Again, these numbers are in a plus b i form. So we have the real component to the complex number then of course we have the imaginary component so this is the standard form so our answer is also going to be in this form as well all right so when we're multiplying complex numbers you want to think of foil remember first outer inner last this is our basic algebra stuff that we uh, use when we multiply two binomials like this so this is how we are going to multiply these complex numbers so let's going to do that right now all right, so here we have uh, negative 5 times negative 2. That's our first. Remember, first, outer, inner, last. So negative 5 times negative 2, we have that right there. Of course, we'll simplify all this in a second. So outer is going to be negative 5 times 2i. So we have that right there. Our inner is going to be negative i times negative 2. And then we have negative i times 2i. That is our last. Okay, so now we're, let's go ahead and simplify all of this. So negative 5 times negative 2 is 10, positive 10. And negative 5 times positive 2i is negative 10i. Uh, negative i times negative 2 is a positive 2i. And then here I have negative i times uh, positive 2i. And this will be a negative 2i squared. Okay, so right here we have like terms. We have negative 10i and 2i, so that's going to give me uh, a negative 8i, okay, so we have 10 uh, plus negative 8i plus negative 2i squared. Okay, so we're almost there, but the trick to um, getting this problem right, again, our answer is going to be an a plus bi form, but we have this i squared part right here, so we need to address that right now, and uh, what we need to do is recall what the definition of i is, right? So this is the imaginary part of, of a uh, complex number, so i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So if i is equal to the, uh, the square root of negative 1, i squared, if we square both of these right here, is going to be equal to negative 1. So we're going to replace this i squared with a negative 1, so let's go to do that right now. Okay, so here we have 10 plus negative 8i plus negative 2i squared. So we're going to replace that i squared with negative 1, and then we're just going to go ahead and simplify. All right, so this is going to give us 10 plus negative 8i plus negative 2 times negative 1 is, of course, positive 2. So now we have 10 and 2. That's going to be 12 plus negative 8i 
which of course is our answer. Again, we have a complex number in A plus B I form. Okay, so uh, complex numbers, tremendously important. Uh, you got to think about um, you know, this particular problem and everything that you very well could teach in high school level mathematics, right? So obviously, that would include uh, you know, subjects like algebra, geometry, algebra 2, and then uh, pre-calculus, and maybe even calculus, right? So there is a ton of math that you need to know. And I can tell you right now, uh, you know, for doing this for many, many years, and I'm having a degree in mathematics, uh, you know, and I'm pretty sure that you are highly educated in math just because you learn math, you know, um, you know, maybe you have a degree in mathematics or a math education degree. That is fantastic. But if you haven't been practicing this stuff, uh, there is a lot of information that you really have to be kind of up to speed about, you know, to do well on this exam. So I have a very, very comprehensive test prep course for uh, the Texas Educator Certification 7 to 12 math exam. Check it out. Again, you'll find a link to it in the description below. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on this exam and your teaching career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.